In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build two deep water culture buckets and also join up a separate reservoir that's gonna keep them automatically topped up during the growing season. And this is what it looks like once it's fully set up. We've got a little capsicum growing here and a tomato who's not doing as well because I didn't string it up in time. But we still got some flowers forming. And bubbling away in here are our roots growing very nicely. And the same in here. is our reservoir, which is set at the level I want. For today's build, we're gonna need three buckets, two for the deep water culture, one for the reservoir. We're gonna need two air stones for these two buckets, an air pump that can run two air stones. We're gonna need lids, we're gonna need two neck cups, and we're also gonna need three little outlet plugs so that we can link these up. We're also gonna need a float valve, and a few little T's and poly joiners. We're also gonna need poly pipe, substrate to grow in, as well as a plant, of course. Let me explain how it's gonna work. We're gonna put a float valve in one of these buckets, and that bucket is gonna set the water level that we want in the other two. Then we're gonna use gravity to keep these two buckets filled up. If you're unsure how that gravity system works, I've made another video about that and you can check it out on the channel. But as a quick refresher, here's how it works. As long as the level in this bucket is set to where we want the water to be, the water will flow from bucket number one, which is our reservoir, to keep bucket two and three topped up at the level that we set using the float valve as well as the height of this bucket. Now, I've already made a start on this system. I've already drilled some outlets for these two buckets. The first thing I'm gonna need is to drill an outlet for the third bucket. On my drill, I have a little stepped drill bit, which means I can make fittings for things like these little PVC outlets. They're really, really useful for jobs like this. Next hole I wanna drill is for my float valve. Now I'm gonna put my float valve around halfway in this bucket, because like I said, I can lift this bucket higher and I can also adjust this float valve to be up or down, which will mean I'll be able to get this bucket pretty much to any water level I need in the future. Say I wanted to grow a crack key system instead of a deep water culture. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. What I've done here is drilled the hole too big. So I've just put an outlet in there, I'll block it off, doesn't matter. Float valve, the rubber goes on the inside of the tank. Now the float valve is a bit more fiddly here because this bucket is round and these are designed for squares. So you want it tight, but you don't want it too tight, otherwise these will snap. So let's just screw it in. So there you have it. Now something else with these float valves, that they don't put on the instructions is there's a little filter sometimes inside them, which I find in hydroponic systems just gets bogged up with algae and bits and pieces. So best just to remove that. There it is. We can get rid of that one. So the way I'm gonna have this system sitting is I'm gonna have two buckets at the back, one bucket which has my float valve here, and then I'm gonna link these up. So I'm gonna use a T from this bucket, the reservoir bucket, to my two deep water culture buckets. Let's link it all up now. So hopefully you can see this now. I've got my two deep water culture buckets here and I've also got my reservoir bucket over there which has the float valve. You can see that I've put it up on a bit of a stand just so I can get that water level set right from the beginning. Now let's proceed to just finish off these two buckets as we would any deep water culture build, which is simply to add an outlet for an air stone, drill a hole in the lid for a neck cup, and then we'll just need to add a substrate like clay balls to this neck cup, as well as a seedling, of course. Now, since I've already built a few deep water culture buckets before, I know roughly where I'm gonna put the four millimeter outlet, which goes to my air pump. Now the air pump in a deep water culture system, of course, provides the oxygen to the plants that they would normally get from the soil. This is where deep water culture and crack key differ. In deep water culture, we keep that hydroponic nutrient solution topped up to just below the neck cup, whereas in crack key, we let the nutrient solution drop and the plants develop air roots in the bucket. So for deep water culture, we need to add that air stone for oxidization. So then I've got some four mil tubing, which will pump oxygen to those air stones. So then we obviously need to attach these two outlets to our air pump. This air pump actually has two separate outlets, so it'll be able to easily feed 
both these buckets. Then we need some air stones. Here's one I've opened previously in a deep water culture build. Here's a brand new one. Let's install them as well. All right, I'm not gonna build it here, but we also need to drill a hole. Now this is a three inch neck cup in American terms, and this is a 72 millimeter hole drill adapter. And that actually joins uh, to create a really, really nice flush hole. You may need to clean some of those surfaces. I use a scalpel, you can just use a knife. And essentially, there we have it. So let's do a system walkthrough. Starting at the reservoir bucket, we're gonna use gravity to set this bucket to the height where it matches the highest level that we want on these. We're gonna do that by using the float valve that we've installed in this bucket, as well as also a bit of adjusting the height of the bucket. The nutrient solution from this bucket is gonna flow down into both of these buckets, and they will then fill from the bottom to be at the level of hydroponic nutrients that we've set here. An air stone in each bucket is gonna provide oxygen to the roots and enable that plant to grow. Now these systems are gonna be outside. So a good thing about these air stone holes is that they can act like an overflow. I'll also need to make sure I keep checking the pH and electrical conductivity of these buckets. Some people like to drain these buckets during the grow season and top them up with new and fresh hydroponic solution. That's something you can do if you want to as well. For me, I'm gonna try this as a completely passive system and you can check back with me later in the growing season to see how they've gone. But for now, that is everything you need to build an unlimited deep water culture system, which will automatically keep itself topped up. So the final thing I should say is this is gonna be hooked up to my hydroponic nutrient reservoir, and that means that it'll look, this system will become entirely passive for me. If you wanna see more videos like this, then you can help me out by subscribing or hitting that like button. You can also drop a comment in the chat below or ask any questions there as well. I'll try and get around to answering them all. If not, someone else might be able to help you out from the community. Remember, plants are science. If you follow the instructions and do good things by them, they're gonna do 